Hello teachers. So several of you have been asking me to clarify my instructions on how to create a Canvas assignment using H5P. So I wanted to review with you guys again how to create two very simple H5P assignments. Question number one that I've been getting is why can't you create an account with H5P? Well, you don't have to. The reason why is because that app is already integrated with Canvas, so it isn't necessary. All you have to do basically is create the assignment through Canvas with the external tool, and it's gonna link directly to H5P for your students. So you're not required to sign up with any other website or anything like that. Before I take you through the instructions, I wanna go over how I use H5P in my classroom. So over here, I have some interactive flashcards that I created for a unit on art history for my 2D studio art class. And what the students have to do is look at the artwork pictured in each of the cards and they have to name the art movement that represents this artwork. So when I look over here and I gave them a little clue, because I don't expect them to know all the artists, all the artworks by memory. I told them who the artist was and I told them uh, the name of the work. They just need to identify the movement. So I know Warhol is representative of the pop art movement. So right away it gives me feedback letting me know I answered correctly. Now if I'm a student and I don't know the answer to this one where it's asking me Rothko number 13, what art movement that represents, and I type in minimalist art when in fact it is um, abstract expressionism, it's going to tell me right away what the answer was that I got it wrong and if I'm a student and I want to retry it, I get the chance to do so at the end once I am done with all the flashcards. And I can actually scroll through and see what other flashcards I have to do. So I see an image by Picasso. I know this is representative of cubism, okay? So students don't necessarily have to go in order. They can go back and forth um, according to their needs. Here's another one that I do a lot. So this is a drag and drop interactive assignment, where basically students will read a block of text and they have to add the missing terms. So blank refers to parts or elements of an artwork that are raised. I know the um, answer to that is relief. Now, if I answer one of these incorrectly, like um, the artwork style is categorized as blank or blank. So if I put the word surface, right, instead of the real answer. So I'm just going to put surface in here and I check it. Just like the flashcards, it's going to give me automatic feedback. So students will see right away what they got right, what they got wrong. And if you have that one student who is not satisfied with their score the first time, no problem, they can go and retry it. So I like using H5P primarily because it does a grading automatically within Canvas and I can just sync that to Pinnacle, but they're also interactive assignments. So let me show you guys how to get to it. Over here, this is my planning course and I have my practice makes perfect module. Next to the module name, I'm gonna click on the plus sign to add a brand new assignment. So from the drop down menu, I'm gonna select assignment, new, and I know this assignment is gonna be on color theory. So these are gonna be my color theory flashcards. Click add item. Now this is just an empty shell. I haven't actually created the assignment yet, so I have to click on the title. All right. Now that it loaded, I'm going to select edit right here with the pencil sign. Now, we're all familiar with the rich content editor in Canvas. This is where typically we write out the instructions for the assignment. If they're going to be writing an essay, this is where we write the prompt of that essay. In this case, though, I'm not really going to add anything on here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll down and where it says submission type, I'm going to select external tool. And I'm going to look for H5P by going to find, scrolling down, and it's right here, h5p.com. All right, 
Now, I have several assignments already created with H5P. As you guys can see, yours will look empty because you haven't created anything yet. But what's cool is that all of these assignments are archived, so I can reuse them at any point in time with any other class. All right, so I'm going to go and create some flashcards from scratch. So I'm going to click plus add content. And I have several different um, assignments that I can create through H5P that are all interactive and all very easy to make. But the first one that I want to focus on is going to be flashcards. So I'm going to click where it says flashcards. And if I need further clarification, if I want some examples, H5P does provide some tutorials for me that I can load so that they can show me um, how to create some new flashcards. Okay, so here's the H5P tutorial. It just took me to a brand new tab and it gives me a few examples of some flashcards and it shows me step by step how to create those flashcards from scratch. So this is really helpful in the event that I forget something, I forget a particular step or maybe I want my flashcards to be a little bit more um, sophisticated, it shows me how to edit those flashcards even further. But I think I know what I have in mind um, and I'm just going to go and jump right to it. So here is the assignment in progress on Canvas using H5P. Alright, so the title I'm going to give it is going to be Color Theory Palettes. And my description is going to be something like match the color palette in the image with its definition or something along those lines something pretty simple all right so here's my first card that's already created for me as far as like the structure of it the first thing i want to do is i want to add the image that i want that card to have so I'm going to click plus add and the first image is going to be this one. It's loading. While it's loading, I want to consider, do I want to put some um, hints for the student um, so that they can identify this particular color palette? So where it says question, that's where I would add that hint such as for this one, I might add color best friends, which is how I, I refer to complementary color pairs in my classroom. But the answer that they would need to input if they wanted to get that question correctly would be complementary. So that card is already created. I'm just gonna go to plus add card so I can add another card to my set of flashcards. Again, I'm gonna start by adding the image. And this is where I would add my hint. Again, this is totally optional. It's not required. My hint might be one color, okay? But the answer that the students would need to input to get this question correctly would be monochromatic. I'm just gonna add one last one. So plus add, add card, add the image that I already have saved to my computer. In this case, I'm not gonna put a hint I'm just going to put in the answer that, that students would need to plug in when they're creating the flashcards. So I think I'm done creating flashcards right now. There's definitely no limit to how many you can add to this particular set. But right now I'm just going to leave it at three. And I'm just going to go to save and insert at the top. Select. And now this is where I have the opportunity to do some edits to my actual Canvas assignment. So let's say each of those flashcards is worth 10 points, right? So total for three flashcards would be 30 points. So I'm going to input the amount of points that the assignment is due. And of course, I want this to load to Pinnacle. So I'm going to select Sync to SIS and put in a due date for it. So let's say it's due May 8th. And I'm going to scroll down and click save. 
Okay, awesome. And now I get to preview my flashcards. And as you can see, it took very little effort on my part to create these flashcards, which look very professional and are interactive and are gonna be graded automatically for me. So what's not to love about that? So let's test it. Now, if the student answered this flashcard correctly, if they identified this image with the definition as I asked them to, they would type in complimentary. So let's check it. Instant feedback. What's not to love? So I hope that was helpful um, in showing you guys how to create some flashcards. I'm going to show you guys now how to add some drag and drop assignments, which is a second H5P assignment that I create a lot of. I'm going to go back to my modules. All right, so back to my practice makes perfect module. I'm going to add a brand new assignment, new, and this one's going to be called color theory drag and drop. And I'm going to select add item. Now, again, this is just a blank shell. So I'm going to click on the actual name of the assignment. Just like I did before, I'm going to click the edit button. And now I'm going to scroll down under submission type. external tool and I'm going to look for H5P. All right, so likewise, I'm going to click plus add content. And from my menu options, I'm just going to select drag the words. Select use. Now, once again, I'm just going to add a simple title. So this one's going to be called color theory. And I can never spell theory. Drag and drop. I think I like this default task description, so I'm going to leave it as is. And this is where I would input the text that students are going to see. So what I like to do first is I like to put in the actual definitions um, first, and then I define which terms students are going to need to match. So in this case, it's going to be something like a monochromatic color scheme uses one color and different values of that color. So here I have two terms that I want students to match to the sentence. The first one is going to be monochromatic. So what I'm going to do is around the word monochromatic, I'm just going to put an asterisk. And the second term is going to be values. So I'm going to put an asterisk around values as well. Let me do a second sentence. So maybe this one is going to be complementary color schemes match one warm color and one cool color. So in this case, the terms that I want the students to be able to match are going to be complementary and then warm. And cool. So for all those terms, I'm just adding the asterisk at the front and at the end of the word. Now I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to pretty much ignore all these default settings. I like them as is. I'm going to place my assignment by going to save and insert. And likewise, this is where I would go and put in whatever points the assignment is worth. So if I believe this assignment is worth um, 10 points, that's where I go and put that in. I'm just going to go and save it so I can preview what the assignment looks like so far. 
All right, my assignment has loaded. Now this is what students are going to need to see. They're gonna see the list of terms that they need to go and match into the statement. So a blank color scheme uses one color. That would be monochromatic and different blank of that color. That would be values that I need to plug in here. I'm just gonna click on check and students will see automatic feedback. If they are dissatisfied with their score, they can retry it or they can just stick to whatever they got the first time. So as you guys can see, it takes very minimal effort on my part. It grades automatically, gives automatic feedback. Honestly, there's nothing not to love about these H5P assignments. I hope this was helpful to you, that you guys can um, use these in your own classes. And if you have any questions, you know how to reach me. Bye.